Well, neighbors across Baltimore are demanding action to get a handle on surging violent crime. And the mayor and council members laid out concerns and new strategies this week. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren stays on this story live in southwest Baltimore with a look at the problems and solutions tonight. Mike? Vic, more than 250 people have been shot and survived in Baltimore this year alone. And this neighborhood has seen more than its share of shootings and killings, including just down the street here on Wilhelm. A uh, body was found shot a week ago and dumped in a vacant home. There remains an $8,000 reward in that case. Once that sun goes down and it's dark, I do not come outside. It's Every time you turn, it's a shooting here, a shooting there. Corey has dealt yeah, with so here. much loss. Friends and loved ones killed, living in a neighborhood filled with vacant homes and shootings almost daily. There's so much stuff that goes on now on the day that it just, it terrifies me. It really terrifies me. One of the latest victims, Cartrell Babalal, was shot and found inside a vacant home on a desolate stretch of Wilhelm Street. How did it happen to him? Like, he was a nice guy. Do you think this neighborhood will get better? Um... It can because there are good people in this neighborhood. The city council and mayor laid out crime plans this week, with Mayor Scott pushing for civilians to handle non emergencies so officers can spend more time on serious violent crime, and council members calling for immediate action. The state of public safety in our city at this time is unacceptable. Uh, we are currently on track uh, for over 350 homicides this year. It's out of control. They shoot during the daytime, they shoot at night. They killed a young lady who was pregnant in my district. They killed a young man who was celebrating his prom. Jasmine Brunson Jr. was just 17. 17 years old, and his life is over. His mother can never hear his voice again. She can never smell his hair. Again. Like, I lost my mom and dad, you know? Council members say 130 City Watch cameras are not working. They say detectives' caseloads are too high, and the crime lab does not have enough resources to process evidence, leading to delays solving crimes. Mayor Scott. We are not going to rest until we are making sure that people that are committing these things are held accountable and preventing them in every way possible. You're looking live at one of the boarded up homes. A lot of neighbors say they simply want these homes torn down. And it was just a week ago tonight that I was in this neighborhood when an elderly man was shot while taking out his trash. That case remains unsolved. Reporting live in southwest Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.